Hello everyone, this is Professor Jagdish Mimple from NIT Nagpur. I request you to kindly like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get the live update notification about the channel. Thank you. Okay, so hello everyone. In the previous video, uh, we have already gone to the topic, the conversion of a prefix expression into its equivalent and fix expression and postfix expression using stack. We have seen algorithm as well as we have also learned how to get convert the given prefix expression into its equivalent and fix expression as well as how to get convert the given prefix expression into its equivalent postfix expression. In the today's video, we are going to see the algorithm for postfix to infix and postfix to prefix as well as how to get convert the given postfix expression into equivalent infix expression and prefix expression using stack. Many times in the university examination or in the viva voice, it will ask the question likewise, if the particular expression which is given in the postfix format and will ask you convert that given postfix expression into its equivalent infix expression or the given postfix expression it convert into the prefix expression. By the voice, the question may ask, suppose if we are going to convert the given postfix expression into its equivalent infix expression, how we are going to convert the how we are going to construct a new string or what is the process you need to follow while converting postfix post -fix to infix or postfix to prefix. Likewise, the question will be asked in the bio voice also. Now, we will see the algorithm for postfix to infix. How the postfix expression will get converted into its equivalent infix expression using stack. As you already know, the stack is, for stack, we can say expression conversion, it is one of the application. So, postfix to infix, if we are going to convert the expression, which is given in postfix format into infix format, we need to follow some sort of set of steps. Like as we have already seen earlier in the previous algorithm, prefix to infix and prefix to infix like this. So, what the algorithm say? Very first thing is, iterate the given expression from left to right, one character at a time. In case of, remember, in case of prefix to infix or prefix to postfix, what we have done, whatever expression is given to you, the first thing is, you have to reverse that expression or you need to start scanning from right side. You need to start scanning from right side. In case of a postfix to infix expression, you have to iterate the expression or you have to scan the expression or you have to scan each and every symbol of your expression from left to right. That means from this direction, from left to right direction, you need to scan the symbol. It means that suppose any expression is given to you, so you have to start the scanning from left to right from this direction. Whereas in case of prefix to postfix or prefix to infix, you need to scan from this direction. You need to scan from right to left. But now we have to follow left to right. We have to scan the expression from left to right direction. Now, the first step is if the character is operant, same as a previous algorithm, whatever we have seen, if the character is an operant, a, B, C, D, B, variables can now okay, or whatever any constant values are there. If the character is operant, push it onto the stack while scanning. Operant are encountered. You have to push that operant onto the stack. Second step is other operant count, operant are encountered with that, so you need to add into the stack, you need to push it to the stack. Now, if the character is an operant operator, now the second step while scanning, if the character is an operator, 
अगर आप एक एक सिंबल को स्कैन करते जा रहे हैं एंड ड्यूरिंग द स्कैनिंग स्कैनिंग सिंबल इज ऑपरेटर लाइक प्लस माइनस मल्टीप्लीकेशन डिवीजन व्हाटएवर सो इफ कैरेक्टर इज एन ऑपरेटर द सेम थिंग व्हाट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव एग्जीक्यूटेड इन द प्रीवियस अल्गोरिथम बाय कन्वर्टिंग प्रीवियस इनपुट टू द प्रीवियस इनपुट फिक्स व्हाट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू पॉप टू ऑपरेंड फ्रॉम द स्टैक स्टैक से दो ऑपरेंड को पॉप करना है That means pop operand from the stack say S one. Consider it. If you pop the first operand, for it is S one. That operand can be anything. Stack me kya it is depend on the condition. Is stack me kya kya available hai. So when the operators are encountered, pop the topmost element. That is pop the two element from the stack. First of all, pop the first element say S one, and then second. You have to pop the second element. You have to pop two element from the stack. Stack से दो element को pop करना है. First element and the second element. Say S1 is the first element and S2 is the second element. Consider it. S1 आपका पहला element है and S2 is the second element. Now perform. What you have to perform? You have to create a new string. You have to concatenate the operand and operator according to a particular formula. Or we can say particular statement we need to use. So we have to perform. How we are going to write? Write out S two, S two first. S two means operand two. Write out operand two first. Then you have to write your operator, whatever operator is there, and write down your operand one. It means that S two is the second operand, operand, and S one is the first operand, and operator, whatever operator is there, so operator is there. So how you will concatenate this thing? First you write down the second operand. First you write down the second operand. जो आपने stack से pop किया उसमें जो second वाला था, you have to write down first. जो second था you have to write down first. Then write down its operator. जो आपको आप तो जब जब आपका operator you have to write down that operator. After that write down your first operand. Say for example, suppose this is your stack. Now this is a simple example. Suppose in stack uh, we are having two operands. Suppose there is an A, there is an B. Suppose the stack status is this one. Now the operator is encountered plus. Operator is encountered plus. Plus operator encountered one. So what you have to do? You have to pop two elements from the stack. Okay, pop two elements from the stack. So first element बाहर निकालो. First element जब बाहर आएगा तो पहले क्या बाहर आएगा? B. First element आपका B बाहर आएगा. So B. So B is a first operand. We have the first operand. After that B निकल लेके बाद second element कौन सा बाहर आएगा? Second element आएगा आपका बाहर A. So A is a second operand. पहले B आया, बाद में A आया. So now how you are going to concatenate these two things? How you are going to generate the new string? कैसे generate करेंगे? So what is the formula? Write down the second operand first. सेकेंड ऑपरेंट फर्स्ट तो सेकेंड क्या निकला है ए निकला है सो राइट आउट ए क्या लिखेंगे ए लिखेंगे ठीक है नाउ उसके बाद लिखना है आपका ऑपरेटर ऑपरेटर कौन सा है प्लस है सो यू यू नीड राइट आउट प्लस ओके नाउ व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट ऑपरेंट फर्स्ट ऑपरेंट इज बी पहले क्या निकला था बी सो आंसर इज ए प्लस बी आंसर इज ए प्लस बी आया इन फिक्स फॉर्म में ए प्लस बी ओके so likewise we have to perform these steps while converting while converting your postfix expression into its prefix expression using the stack so we'll see one example suppose one expression is given to you which is in the postfix format that expression is a b c That expression is a b c divided minus a k divided l minus n b. Now, suppose the expression is given in a postfix format. The given expression is in postfix format. You need to convert into its equivalent infix expression. So, what is the first thing you need to follow? You have to start. Scanning from left to right. 
you have to scan this expression from this direction from left to right okay now see what is the first symbol first symbol is a first symbol is a so a is an operand a is an operand so directly push into the stack so push a or to the stack push back to the hl again after that second symbol is b and b is also operand so push b onto the stack to so stack me pehle a tha ab uske upar b chale gaya now the next symbol is c so c is also operand so push c onto the stack because c is an operand so stack is having a b and c stack is having three elements a b and c after that divide so divide is an operator divide is an operator so what you have to do you have to pop two elements on the stack okay now stack mein kya kya a b and c so first of all pop pop kya hoga aapka c hoga it is a b c to pehle usme se c bahar aayega then usme se b bahar aayega theek hai pop c and pop b theek hai pehle baar aapne c pop kiya to stack mein a aur b hai then aapne pop kiya b to aapke stack mein se c hai now you have to generate a new string ab in new string kaise generate karenge how you are going to construct a new string okay so operand to operator and operand one okay operand one kaun sa tha c tha operand two kaun sa tha b tha so operand two will be first that is b then operator is divide and operand one is c so b divide c it is a new string and whatever new string is constructed you need to add that string again into the stack that means a will be as it is jo aapka naya string construct hua hai that is b divide by c you have to add into the stack again Okay, got it. Now the next symbol is minus. Next symbol is minus. So minus it is also a operator. So what you have to do again? You have to pop two elements from the stack. So pop करेंगे ठीक है ये आपका यहाँ पे pop करेंगे b divided by c. So b divided by c it is a complete one operator. So first of all you need to pop b divided by c. Then again you have to pop a. So आपका stack पूरा empty हो गया. Okay. Now you have to perform a minus. ओके, सो विच इज द ऑपरेंट टू पहले आपने क्या लिखा था बी डिवाइड बाय सी देन सेकंड आपका ए निकला है तो यू हैव टू राइट ऑन ए फर्स्ट दैट मींस ए लिखेंगे आप ए दैट इज ऑपरेंट टू माइनस माइनस ऑपरेंट 1 दैट इज बी डिवाइड बाय सी सो ओके यू हैव टू पुश ए माइनस बी डिवाइड बाय सी इनटू द स्टैक सो लाइकवाइज यू हैव टू ऐड इट टू द स्टैक नेक्स्ट सिंबल इज ए द नेक्स्ट सिंबल इज ए So A is an operand, so directly you need to put it into the stack. So push A into the stack. So this is a one complete operand one, and after that you have added, you have added A. So on the topmost element of stack is A. Now there is A. So A is also an operand, so you need to push A onto the stack. So A may. Stack will push back here. After that, divide. So divide is an operator. So you need to pop two elements from the stack. So first, your k will be out. Okay. Then you have to remove a. So first k will be out. Then a. Then you have to consider a new string. So second k will be out. A. So that means a divided by k. So a divided by k. You have formed a new string. So that string you need to add into the stack. So this is the stack status. Now get l. So push l onto the stack. So on the l stack will push back here. After that. Next symbol is minus again. So minus means you are you need to pop two elements from the stack. Okay. So first element of the L will come out. So second element of the A divided by K will come out. So first element is L. Second element is A divided by K. So what you need to write down? A divided by K minus L. So you have to write down A divided by K minus L. So again, next thing you need to add is the stack. So again, we have we have to do something. What have we done? Stack has been added. And the final is the multiplication. So multiplication again you need to Pop the two elements from the stack. Okay, that is first element will be popped a divided by k minus l. Second element will be popped a minus b divided by c. Then you have to apply the multiplication. Okay, so you have to perform the multiplication. You have to uh, concatenate the string, or you have to generate the new string, and you have to add into the stack. Okay, so finally, after scanning each and every symbol, okay, you will get the one string into the stack. Okay, it means that. Likewise, we are going to convert a given post expression into its equivalent and its expression. So you can see over here in the last year is the expression. 
to be converted into the form. So this is the expression. It will got as a result of the expression that is in the in fixed format. Now this is a in post fixed to in fixed conversion. Now we will see. Now we will see post fixed to process. In the previous example, in the previous algorithm, what we have learned, the given expression is in the form of post fix. We have converted it to the in fix. Now here we will see the given expression which is in the form of post fix. We are going to convert it into the prefix using star. Again, the same algorithm. Only the formula is changed. Only the uh, generated new string will get changed. Okay. Now here we can see. Algorithm for postfix prefix the given expression is in the in the postfix format. आपका जो given expression होगा वो एक postfix format में given. Now what you have to you have to convert that expression you have to convert that postfix expression into its equivalent prefix expression. As we already know in in case of postfix the operand plus after the operand. Okay operator आपको कहाँ पे आता है after the operand. वो a plus b का अगर postfix कराना है तो आप क्या लिखते हो a b plus b. Whereas a plus b का prefix क्या आता है? In prefix operator plus before the operator. Postfix में operator बाद में आता है तो prefix में operator पहले आता है. Okay, like already we know the things. Okay, now we'll see the algorithm. So here is also we have to iterate a given expression from left to right. Whatever expression is given to you, suppose this this is an expression which is given to you, so you need to scan that expression from left to right. Okay. So this expression is given to you. Whatever expression is given to you, you have to scan that expression from left to right. In direction, you have to scan it from left to right. Now, once you have done that, now while scanning, if the character is encountered, if the character is an operand, if you have done scanning, the symbol will be it is an operand. Directly push it into the stack. If it is an operand, then you have to put it where you want it. You have to put it in the stack, insert it, and push it. Okay, that is the very first step. It is common for everyone. The second step is if the character is operator, if the character is operator, अगर आपका character अगर operator है, what you have to do? You have to pop two element from the stack. Same as of in the previous algorithm, in post fix to in fix. So when the operator encounter, you have to pop two element from the stack. अगर operator encounter होता है scanning के दौरान, तो आपको दो element को क्या करना है? Pop out करना है from the stack. Okay? Then you have to Perform or you have to concatenate the string. So how you are going to concatenate the string? You have to pop the two operands from the stack. Suppose S one. Suppose first operand S one bahar aaya. Second operand apka S two bahar aaya. ठीक है आपका correct आपका operator encountered हुआ तो आपने दो operands को pop out किया from the stack. Consider it. The first element is pop that is S one and the second element is pop that is S two. पहले element S one निकला दूसरा element S two निकला. Now, how you are going to concatenate the string? So, what you have to write? You have to write first operator. पहले आपको क्या लिखना है? Operator लिखना है. जो भी operator होगा, you have to write down that operator. After that, write down second operand. After that, write down second operand. And after that, write down the first operand. Consider it. Suppose it is a stack. Suppose यहाँ पे already you have an a value. One operand a है and another one is b. Okay. Now the operand is operator is encountered. Suppose multiplication. A multiplication operand. Aapka encountered hua hai. Now multiplication is an operator. So what you have to do? You have to pop two element from the stack. Stack se two element nikalna. So first pop karenge to aapka pehle b bahar aega. B bahar aega. So b is your first operand. B is your first operand. Now b bahar aaya. अभी क्या बाहर निकलेगा ए नाउ द सेकेंड टाइम क्या बाहर आएगा आपका ए बाहर आएगा सो ए इज द सेकेंड ऑफ ए इज द सेकेंड ऑफ ओके नाउ हाउ टू कॉन्केटिनेट द स्ट्रिंग व्हाट इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर्मूला क्या बोलता है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू राइट एन ऑपरेटर ऑपरेटर कौन सा ऑपरेटर आया था मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑपरेटर आया था सो राइट द मल्टीप्लीकेशन मल्टीप्लीकेशन दैट एस2 दैट इज ऑपरेंड 2 एस2 इज ऑपरेंड 2 अभी इस केस में ऑपरेंड क्या है कि ए इज ऑन सेकेंड सेकेंड ऑपरेंड सो राइट ऑन ए ओके नाउ एस वन सो एस वन इज ऑपरेंड वन सो ऑपरेंड वन क्या था हमारा बी था यू हैव टू राइट ऑन बी सो लाइकवाइज 
we have to pop two element okay we have to concatenate the string and whatever result you will got you will get that is into a b so again you have to add this string into the stack फिर से आपको स्ट्रिंग को कहां पे डालना है स्टैक में डालना है इसका ए बी रिमूव हो चुका है आपका एंड बी इज आल्सो रिमूव सो नाउ अब इस स्टैक में आपने क्या डाल दिया इनटू ए बी सो इनटू इनटू ए बी इट इज वन कंप्लीट स्ट्रिंग वन कंप्लीट ऑपरेंड डोंट कंसीडर मल्टीप्लिकेशन इज डिफरेंट ए इज डिफरेंट एंड बी इज डिफरेंट नॉट लाइक दैट कंसीडर दैट कंसीडर इट इज अ वन कंप्लीट ऑपरेंड ओके सो नाउ वी विल सी द एग्जांपल so here one expression is given to you okay that is abc divide minus ak divide l minus into the expression which is given in the postfix format the expression aapko diya gaya hai ye ek postfix format hai what you have to do you have to convert this expression into its equivalent prefix expression is used that again the same process you need to scan the expression from left to right you need to scan the expression from left to right it means that from left to right agar scan karte hain to which operator which symbol is come first a so a a is an operand a kya hai operand hai so you need to add add that operand into the stack okay so a is an operand so operand if the operands are encountered directly push it onto the stack so push a on the stack to so stack me kya chale gaya a chale gaya after that b so b is an operand so directly put b is on stack so stack me a and b aa gaya after that there is a c so c is an operand then again push c on the stack so a b c ho gaya okay after that divide so divide is an operator so you have to pop two operand from the stack okay so first operand pop karoge to aapka pehle kya bahar aayega c bahar aayega second bahar kya aayega aapka b bahar aayega That is, पहले आपका सी बाहर आ गया then second आपका बी बाहर आया ठीक है बच्चा अब इस टैक में क्या है सिर्फ ए बच्चा हुआ वॉट यू हैव टू डू नाउ यू हैव टू कॉन्टेट इन इंटरेस्टिंग यू टू परफॉर्म ओके वॉट यू हैव टू परफॉर्म सो द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मूला इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यूनिट राइट नंबर ऑपरेटर ऑपरेटर क्या है डिविजन है सो so, यहाँ पे डिविजन लिख दिया डिविजन ऑपरेटर है आफ्टर दैट ऑपरेंट टू ऑपरेंट टू पहले क्या बाहर आया बाहर आया था पहले पॉप हुआ सी second time pop hua b that is first of all the pop element is c second pop element is b so second pop element is b so you have to write on the second pop element that is second operand so b second time nikla to humne yahan b likha uske baad c likha okay so divide bc so concatenate new generated string is divide bc so divide bc is one complete operand so what do you have to do you have to add that string into the stack again okay that is you have to push push divide this into the stack that is a already back up your stack may remaining tha abhi aapne divide this into the push kar diya after that next one is minus minus so minus it is also operator so what you have to do again you have to pop two element from the stack okay so first pop karoge to divide this aapko milega and the second pop karoge to aapko a milega so aapka stack yahan pe empty ho gaya now you have to perform a minus operator So what is the operator is minus? You need to write on minus first. After minus, we can. What is the second operand you have pop? Pila divide B C pop two hai. Pila operator divide B C pop two hai. Second operator A pop two hai. So write on second operand first. So minus A, we can. You have to. After that divide B C into second operand. So again, this concatenate to string two hai. You have to add into the stack again. So stack we have to add to the stack. That is minus A divide B C. It is one complete operand. Don't consider minus a divide b c a individual and nine. Not like that. It is a complete one operand, or it is a one complete string. You have added to the stack. Okay. Now the next symbol is a. So a is an operand, so you have to add it to stack. So comma करके a add कर दिया. After that, now k. So k is the operand, so comma करके k add कर दिया. After that, again there is a division. So division, so division is an operator. So what you have to do? You have to pop two elements from the stack and perform the division of it. So pop k and pop a pehla pop karoge to a pop hoga then second pop karoge to a pop a pop hoga so you have to apply the division so division a k it is a concatenated string you have to add it to the stack so minus a divide this in comma divide a comma a k now the next symbol is l so l is an operand so operand hai so you need to put it in the stack so we have to add it to the stack 
to LM is stack max and the update minus. So minus is the operator. You need to pop two elements from the stack and apply the minus. So first of all, you need to pop L. Final element pop over L. Final element pop over divide A K. Okay, you need to perform minus. So how you are going to perform? Write down operator first. So minus first. उसके बाद second operand क्या पॉप हुआ था? Divide A K. So write down divide A K. That is second operand and the first operand is L. So you need to write down minus divide A K L. So it is a one complete string. You need to add into the stack and B. Okay. Now the multiplication. So same way you have to perform the multiplication. You have to pop the two elements from the stack. That is minus divide A K L from the stack. Then pop minus A divide B C from the stack. And finally, you have to apply the multiplication. So you have to write the multiplication minus A divide B C divide B C minus divide A K L. So you have to perform this thing. You have to uh, concatenate it, concatenate it, or you have to divide it in this thing. And again, you have to pop into the. You again, you have to push into the stack. So this one is called stack. Let us say so. In stack, you will get a one complete expression. Okay. So all the Scanning symbols are finished, so it means that you will get a final result in this stack. So finally, you have to pop that expression from the stack. That means that is a converted prefix expression. So this is a final prefix expression for the given postfix expression. So postfix expression we have done, so we have converted it to prefix. So likewise, you will get a prefix expression for the given postfix expression. Okay, everybody got it. Now one simple thing we will see. One more example. Okay. Many times what happens? You will get a, another type of question in the examination. Evaluate the below postfix expression. If the expression is given in the postfix format, and you have to evaluate it. In the previous example, what we have learned, the expression is given to you. You need to convert it into the equivalent prefix or prefix format. Like. N prefix to prefix, N prefix to postfix, prefix to postfix, prefix to prefix, sorry, prefix to postfix. After that, postfix to prefix and postfix to prefix, and vice versa. Now, the question pattern is changed over here. Evaluate, evaluate means you have to solve it. You have to find the final figure. Okay, that means evaluate. Okay, so evaluate the below postfix expression. One expression is given to you. That is two, three, four plus into six minus. One expression is given to you. You need to evaluate this. So, how to evaluate a given expression? So, what we have to do, you have to scan each and every symbol. If the operand or constant values are there, you need to add into the stack. Same process. Operand hai, ya fir aapka koi constant symbol hai, constant value hai, you need to add into the stack. Okay. Agar operator hai, you need to pop two elements from the stack. Apply the apply or you can say perform. Okay. So, evaluate karenge particular operator ko and you will get the results. See the example. Now the very first symbol is two. Very first symbol is two. So two is an operand. Two is an constant value directly added to the stack. Like a stack will be chalega. After that, the next is three. So three is an again value directly added to the stack. Like a pile two first stack me. Now uske upar three chalega. Like a now the next is four. So four is also a value. So again you have to push into the stack. So pile two tha. Uske upar three aaya. Uske upar four chalega. Like a now next operator is plus. So plus is an operator. Plus is an operator, so we require two operands to perform the plus. So, if this is your stack, then the stack will come out of the first element. First, the first four will come out, then the second will come out. First, the four will come out, then the second will come out, then the third will come out. Now, you have to perform four plus three. So, that is operand one, operand two. So, operand one plus operand two, that is four plus three, we will get seven. Okay? So, seven IR is at seven unit to again add into the stack. तो फिर से आपने स्टैक में सेवन डाल दिया सो so, पहले से ऑलरेडी टू था आपने फोर और थ्री बाहर निकाल दिया फोर और थ्री पे आपने एडिशन परफॉर्म किया फोर प्लस सेवन सेवन आया तो फिर से सेवन आपने रिजल्टेंट ऐड कर दिया फिर से आपने रिजल्टेंट जो आंसर आया तो आपने आपके स्टैक में ऐड कर दिया सेवन आ गया मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो अगेन यू टॉप दू एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द स्टैक ओके सो नाउ द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इज सेवन ओके तो फर्स्ट एलिमेंट कौन सा बाहर आएगा आपका सेवन बाहर आएगा एंड सेकेंड एलिमेंट इज टू ठीक है पहले आपका सेवन बाहर आएगा देन आपका सेकेंड एलिमेंट आएगा टू सो यू हैव टू परफॉर्म द मल्टीप्लिकेशन तो सेवन डिवाइड बाई टू यू गेट आंसर फोर्टीन सो यू नीट टू एड फोर्टीन ओके सो इतने इसका आपने मल्टीप्लीकेशन परफॉर्म कर दिया सो यू विल गेट आंसर फोर्टीन फोर्टीन यूट एड इट टू दैक ठीक है नाउ द नेक्स्ट सिंबॉल इज सिक्स सो सिक्स इज एन ऑपरेंट यू हैव टू एड इट टू द स्टैक 
ऑलरेडी प्रोटीन है उसके ऊपर शिक्षा आपने डाल दिया आफ्टर दैट नेक्स्ट इज माइनस माइनस इज एन ऑपरेटर माइनस इज एन ऑपरेटर सो यूनिट टू परफॉर्म सो फोर्टीन फोर्टीन माइनस सिक्स सो फोर्टीन माइनस सिक्स फोर्टीन माइनस सिक्स इज यू विल गेट एट सो फाइनल आंसर इज एट Operation, whatever operation you are you are going to perform, what you have to do, you have to take the first operand first. Sorry, second. That means after you have operand bahar aaya hua hai. So whenever you are going to perform the particular operator on two operands, okay. So consider second operand first, then operator, then first operand. Okay. So what is the second operand? Second operand is fourteen, and the first operand is six. Okay. So fourteen minus six is eight. So answer is eight. So finally, answer. Finally, you will get the answer. Okay. That is when we evaluate this post-fit post-fit situations, you will get the result. Okay. So like this, you will get A. Okay. See that the uh, the second example is given to you. Okay. Uh, the basic the review. So force twelve seventy minus division two one five plus into plus. Okay. The first symbol is when so add it to the stack. Well, to have this stack matter, there is seven. Well, to have seven matter, there and there is three. So twelve seven three add together, and there is minus. So you need to pop the two elements from the stack. So first element, you will get out of here. Three will come out. Then second element will come out. Plus seven. So seven minus three, you will get the answer four. Operand two, operator and operand one. Okay. Consider this particular statement. This formula you need to learn. That is operand two. Consider first, then operator, then operand one. So second element will come out. First, you will take that element, then operator, then the first element, first operator. Okay. Now seven minus three is four. So again there is a division symbol. So twelve divided by four is three. So three is add that here. Then after that two. So add three comma two. Then there is one. So again add into the stack three two one. After that then five. So three two one five add that here. After that there is plus again plus. So pop two elements from the stack. So first element five will come out. Second element after that. One. That means these two elements will come out. So one plus five will get six. So if it's six, I have to six from the stack. Add it. After that, there is a multiplication. Okay. Again, you have to pop two elements from the stack. That is six and two. So first element six bar is. Second element two is. Okay. So two into six will get four. So we have to add twelve. After that, plus again you have to pop two elements from the stack. That is three, twelve. So first element twelve bar is. Then three. So add three plus twelve will get a fifteen. So your final answer is fifteen. हमारा फाइनल आंसर क्या है तो टू टी यू हैव टू पॉप दिस 15 दैट इज अ फाइनल आंसर ओके सो लाइकवाइज यू हैव टू इवैल्यूएट द पोस्ट फिक्स एक्सप्रेशन ओके होप सो एवरीबॉडी अंडरस्टूड द कांसेप्ट ऑफ हाउ यू विल गेट कन्वर्ट द पोस्ट फिक्स एक्सप्रेशन इनटू इट्स इक्विवेलेंट एंड फिक्स एक्सप्रेशन पोस्ट फिक्स एक्सप्रेशन इनटू इट्स इक्विवेलेंट ट्रिप फिक्स एक्सप्रेशन यूजिंग स्टैक एज वेल एज यू कैन आल्सो Understood the concept of how to evaluate the given post fix notation or given post fix expression. That is how to solve the given post fix expression. Okay. Many times, what happens? Suppose instead of twelve seventy, you will get a A B C D form. You will get a uh, identifiers. You will get a variable name. Okay. In the form of operands. So many times, what happens? A B C minus divide plus into likewise the expression is given to you. And niche me, after diya jayega. A is equal to one. B is equal to three. B C is equal to two. So you need to put Instead of a, you need to put the value. A is equal to one, so instead of a, you need to add one. Instead of two, you need to add. Instead of b, you need to add two. C के जगह आप three add करो, ठीक है? So confuse करने के लिए what happened? A, B, C, D के form में आपको expression दिया जाएगा और नीचे में value दिया जाएगा. A is equal to one, B is equal to two, C is equal to three, like that. You need to put that values in the expression and you have to scan the symbol and finally you get the results. So likewise, you have to evaluate the postfix, postfix notation or you can say postfix expression. Hope so. Everybody will understood the concept of expression evaluation as well as conversion of expression like inputs, reflexes, and goes. Okay, so I'll stop here. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you, one and all. Thank you.